installing and using packages so as we were talking if you have to use a package obviously you need to know the functionality of a function which package that function is uh, actually kept that is where you can actually use it so supposedly you don't have any idea as to where the pack where the functionality median exists right now median is something which exists in the base one right so you to know about more about that function all you need to do is put a question mark and say median and that will pop up a, a help file on the bottom right quadrant of your R studio that is the help file so you should be getting uh, how the function is used what are the parameters which are passed over there what are the default values present in the function and if you want to change that what are the options available within that that's how it will help you apparently you can also use the help function right it stands as a separate function so if we say just small uh, in small alphabets help and I'm saying small alphabet specifically because R is very case sensitive. If you type a capital help, it won't work, right? So that's why you have to type a small help, H-E-L-P, and then the function name. So if it is mean, median, whatever you want to type, you'll push it over there and that's how R will help you to understand that function. Now, if you want to understand, like I was talking about the parameters which are kept in a function, obviously function has various attributes. So I can have a function which has only one parameter. I can have a function which has 100 parameters. I can have a function which has some default parameters which means already uh, the, uh, the parameter is uh, tuned right if you want to change it you have an option so what are the different options available that means the arguments you can just use this function args args and type the function name and it will give you a list of all the arguments present within that incidentally if you want to use some more help like you want to get into the documentation of r so you can use help dot search and type the parameter which you want to search obviously there is one more shortcut for that with a double question mark and you can say median what is the difference between a single question mark and a double question mark when you're doing a single question mark that means it is just checking on the headers of the help file when you're do doing a double question mark search it means it is going in the documentation the text now we'll talk about the installation of packages. So some of the uh, basic packages which we would like to use and should be there for us to access. So that's how we will quote that. So one of the very good packages would be ggplot2, right? So it's a graphic device, right? So in R you have one base graphic device, right? That's what you have the standard output. Then you have something which is called as lattice and then there is something which is called as ggplot2 right? so if you want to install that and play your hands on some good nice graphic graphics this is the package which you would be using and that is the install.packages ggplot2 install.packagesplyr and there is other options to this like dplyr now these are packages so plyr package is basically used to manipulate a table so there is something of a notion called as tidy table so if a table is not good right so that means it has something which is called as redundancy same data repeated at different places same data repeated at different data frames right that you need to get it sorted so plyr package deploy our package are the best package to do that so that comes with that install.packages reshape2 helps you change the shape of a table or a data frame for example if you want to transpose a data if you want to do some manipulation like aggregations and you want to do a group by data then reshape packages will uh, let you access some of the functionalities so one of the few functionalities in uh, reshape would be something like a melt and a cast operator right so these are two functions are great now what does melt mean i want to melt my data first and cast means once i melt that i want to put it in the shape of something else right so that would be accessible only if i have this reshape to package then we are talking about the install dot packages with sqldf sqldf lets you access a data frame uh, by writing codes in the form of an SQL statement, right? So you can access a data frame as if you're trying to write SQL codes and that is what SQLDF is all about. Install.packages party, party lets you access some of the key functionalities like using a decision tree, right? So these has uh, some of the functions available over there and HMIC package, basically miscellaneous package, helps you go beyond using functionalities like summaries, structures and all those things wherein you can look at the data with some more retrospective right so this is also a good package which you could use so you can uh, point basically to a global reference like a zero on your global settings which helps you access the cloud cran mirror now uh, if you want to know anything about r google is the best, best page to do that so you have a lot of web pages which let you 
uh, understand what are your uh, problems so if you're trying to fire a fire a code and there comes an error so you can just copy paste that error and put it on Google and Google will help you. There is a dedicated Google for R which is rseek.org which just talks about R codes only and the functionalities. So you can use this also which should be handy for you.